Hey what's up everyone welcome to profit Ada. so today exactly I'm gonna talk about how you can create a flowchart diagram using GraphWiz in Python okay so GraphWiz is a module uh, where you can create your flowchart in Python flowchart diagram in Python okay and uh, you can uh, visit draw.io as well to create your flowchart okay, especially there will be interface will be there where you can uh, represent your chart as per your requirement okay, and you can if you are utilizing chat gpt you just give it uh, any of the uh, required things and ask for the mermaid or plant your mail code okay so if you ask and put them okay it will get you uh, the required stuff okay so it is important so you can ask and uh, you know whether it is like uh, you know plant your mail or uh, you know so this is how you can follow and um, so mame code if you like uh, you know get with it so that is also the way where you can like you know give it so same thing which like you know as we are doing this with mame code we do it in python okay uh, so as we are utilizing python and everything need to be carried and automated in a python so it is very much necessary to follow uh, this grab -wiz, okay and it is uh, a very uh, in a faster way to implement the actual things which you are looking for okay so you can ask the code otherwise you just put the note as as what we do like you know while coding we'll put some uh, like you know comments so the type of comments you can put and can extract a flowchart okay so it is a kind of a mapping which you utilize and it will definitely gonna help in our machine learning projects okay so you can uh, like you know visit and uh, you know I, I must say that whatever uh, you the os you contain okay just uh, you know get with the installation as same whether it is linux mac or windows for windows what you can do you just uh, get with exe installer okay just say 64 bit okay just install and run them okay so after after installation like you know try to set the path okay so what you can do you just uh, you know say edit the system environment variables okay so if you just get with it just go with the environment variables and set the path okay in the path you just have to say edit and just say new and add the files so this should be there so whichever folder is there the grab base will be there so slash bin in the slash bin executable files are there so if you route this and after this the module works perfectly okay so for, go for it okay it is it is one of the smooth process to create the graph and this graph we will utilize to for mapping purposes such as uh, in any, whether it is in coding algorithm or uh, machine learning okay especially in as a classifier whichever it is okay so decision tree classifier okay so this is how you can go with it okay so all you have to do you just open command prompt and just say pip install grab base okay so it will do the installation and rest of the things which you need to carry is this way okay so all you have to say that import graph with okay so last time uh, this uh, things will be included in our machine learning project okay so for that special need i'm doing this so say suppose i am taking as a topic as a context okay where uh, as suppose if i am going with the machine learning uh, you know some of the process i need to follow it is uh, last time we discussed what is that process that is data collection data pre-processing okay uh, model training okay model evaluation okay and then prediction so these are four to five steps we will follow okay so that is i'm gonna put in a comment box and okay and i will try to take a flowchart so let's go with it so i have to say a dot okay and this is the format which i need to refer so triple comma so what happens it will open our comment in a string so we are writing this in a string format so what we calling digraph okay and what is our topic it is machine learning okay 
so try to follow this format okay don't give a gap okay otherwise you will get error okay so we got this stuff now what happens we need to put uh, some of the text okay so first of all we'll create a node so in node what we have to say uh, the uh, the first type we talk about is the box okay so we'll talk about shape so i need in a box okay node and then i ta talk about style so style should be filled okay and then fill color whichever i want okay so that should be white black black don't go with black otherwise it will be like yeah no you won't get anything okay so it's better to get in white brown pink okay so i think uh, light blue blue color so whatever light color you want you just give it uh, whichever you feel like go with it okay just put a semicolon and for next what happens i need to put a start okay so i need to start so if i want to put a for a uh, you know shape for start should be you know that it is uh, in in uh, in kind of a ellipse okay So it should be in ellipse format okay and the next which i am doing as of end shape shape equals ellipse okay so it will be in oval shape okay so that's the reason i'm following start and end and after that it should be in a box side that should be in a rectangle okay so in rectangle what are the things i need to put okay so first we will start okay and this is the arrow mark kind of a, like you know showing a sign should we get started so first thing is what we are doing we are doing data collection and one more thing which we can do is we can put the label so this is the best way uh, to learn any kind of a things okay in a label uh, what we are doing i am collecting collect stock stock price okay so this is how you need to start so a uh, data collection i want to do okay so from here what, what i have to do is like gather or i need to collect the prices okay so i need to recognize this first so start i'm going with the data collection and then uh, the same process I need to begin and uh, we need to follow this process so label we are doing it okay now next step is uh, we know that it is a data uh, pre-processing okay and in pro pre-processing are getting with uh, data model training okay so this is what I am doing and i can put the label as well for this stuff which will be uh, you know so we'll try to put certain like you know a graph a chart and then we will uh, evaluate okay so train the model this so at starting i think i'm missing out okay so what happens say suppose if i'm getting with the data pre-processing okay i need to like you know show the arrow 
for our data collection as well from data collection what i am doing is important okay so that's the reason and the next i can get the label okay so this is what i am missing so from data collection i'll get with the data pre-processing and in data pre-processing what i am doing is uh you know i am cleaning the cleaning or cleaning and normalizing the data so here you have to clean and uh, normalize data so this is what you need to put here okay and uh, next you need to train the model so whether it is regression model okay so we'll take an example train linear regression model Okay, so this is how you can put now what happens after uh, you know model training what I'm doing model evaluation is important okay so in next step what I'm doing is a model training to model training model evaluation in model evaluation what i'm doing evaluating the model so a simple label you have to give to understand so it is a, a better mapping stuff okay and if you are doing in the python you know you can like you know as i'm doing simple stuff uh you can automate the stuff Okay, just getting the sentences, summarize it and then put it in a flowchart. So I think this will be the best. Okay. So our label is done. Uh, evaluation, model training, model evaluation. And after model evaluation, what happens? Prediction. So you can assign the ta task, okay, especially like if you are getting with a machine learning part, what happens, it will give you all of, uh, you know, the models, the data set, whatever you are doing with the machine learning. Okay, so inside information, if you are looking for, graph is important. Okay, flowchart is important. Okay, so it's kind of mapping and it is best. In model evaluation, after model evaluation, what we are doing? We are doing prediction. And prediction is simple, like you know, we are, uh, what is the label? It is like, uh, you know, predict, predicting future stock price. Okay. So I think uh, we are uh, done here. So prediction, we got it. And after prediction, we need to end this. Okay. So here we have completed all of our stuff. Okay. Uh, so we got our diagraph out each and everything. And in a simple way, I have to say, that in a graph okay so i have to close this stuff first in a string format which i started so uh, none next i have to set in a graph that is screen a graph variable what i'm doing graph with dot source in a source what i got dot and in last what i am doing simple stuff just render and uh, I will give a file name okay which can be anything whichever I want so I will say as a ml ml
my flow chart okay and format i can give whatever variant i am going with a png okay and the next what i am doing that's it okay so i think if you are not doing any kind of a mistake okay once we will check okay still okay so i think everything is good so save it and try to run it's a control b okay so box only and see and then return on okay maybe this node yeah so i think uh, this node equals i've been given so that's the reason i'm getting there okay so let me check what we got so ml flow should be got so this is how it is going okay so we'll try to rectify certain things okay because we are uh we are doing some mistakes uh i will try to check with one more uh thing so start data collection data pre processing is okay and after model evaluation so model evaluation what have been done i've been given to the prediction Okay, so prediction have been ended here. Model evaluation after model evaluation, do I have given anything? So collection is given pre processing, processing. See if a small spelling mistake is there. Okay, it will give you different kind of a diagrams. Okay, so it is important to follow. And uh, we will try our older. Was not sure. Okay, whether it gave or not. Lips. okay so you have to give double L. okay so that's the reason it will get you things working so you should not do any kind of a mistake and if you follow this format you are able to get the flow chart as required okay and one more thing we will do we will try to uh, you know we will uh, give it one more thing which is like you know color so what we can choose is we can give a light blue as well okay let's run this to check so we got okay so to light blue it is not working try to do okay we got light blue yes we got the light blue and uh, one more thing which you can write as of i mean in instant if it is not solving uh, we will check one more thing we will add the pink okay and should be the the process should be faster okay should not like that okay uh, so control p do i run this stuff yes so if i am running i'm getting the flow chart it should be in a big so i think it is good and we can get back to white and uh, 
for what I am doing. Say suppose I want to contain this in a square. So we'll check that as well. So let's check. Okay. <clears throat> so this is how you can go. Okay. And give it uh, the, the diagram as per your requirement. I mean, especially the styles you can vary. Okay. For that purpose, you can check the documentation. Okay. And feel free to try with it. So we we are not looking for any kind of like a style for style purpose a lot of but especially for the mapping purpose to need to understand what exactly the models are doing and uh, for prediction purpose also uh, to visualize okay for this purposes we gonna utilize this graph base okay so I'm gonna do it more and more use case of this graph base okay so it's better to install and get downloaded okay and you can watch our uh, previous video related to predicting stock prices okay thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me direct by whatsapp thank you